For some of us, these tools work. For many of us, however, we are already inundated with information and would do better to listen to our own intuition, the inner guidance that moves us through life with a quiet grace. In this meditation, we will tune out the noise of the outside world and journey into an ancient library and from there find ourselves transported to a deeply spiritual place. Over the course of the next half hour, you have nothing to worry about, no concerns. There is only your deep, slow breathing and the sounds of this recording to engage you as you sink into deeper relaxation. Your inner guidance bubbling up to meet you. Breathe. Close your eyes and relax. As you become more aware of your breath, allow your thoughts to drift away and your imagination to awaken. Feel the chair or bed against your back, shoulders, arms and legs. Notice the physical stillness of your muscles and joints as you begin to imagine a door appearing in the wall opposite you. Watch it materialize, paint or plaster, transforming into the texture of rugged oak or smooth metal. When you are ready, your imaginary self stands up, feeling the floor against your feet, and moves to the door. You open it, revealing a long staircase that climbs upwards. You cannot see what lies at the top, and notice only a warm golden light flickering at the end of it. Allow yourself to begin to climb the stairs, the sound of your footfalls the only noise in this quiet, calm place. As you reach the top, you see the golden light comes from a variety of gas lamps, lamps cosily lighting a very old library. Bookshelves line the walkways, and every so often there is a desk of dark wood or a pair of overstuffed armchairs nestled amongst the shelves. Allow yourself to move through the library, surrounded by the comfortable dimness of evening, the warm glow of the lamps, the dusty smell of ancient paper. You feel yourself pulled toward a particular bookshelf, and when you reach it, it holds only a single book. Pick up the volume, feel the texture of the cover, the indentations of the letters. What does the cover say? 
is it new or old? Even if you have never seen this book before, it seems somehow familiar, welcoming you back after an extended absence. When you are ready, you open the book, notice the tall, graceful script adorning each page. As you look at each of the letters, they begin to grow larger, glowing with the same light as the lamps. They move faster and faster, filling your vision, transporting you from this library. And when they begin to fade from your vision, you find yourself next to an ancient and sacred well. It is night here, a spring night in the countryside. The air is filled with the scent of new grass and freshly turned earth from the farms in the valley below. But up on this hill, it is silent. The well overlooks the valley, a structure far older than the village below it. It is carved from pure white stone in the old style, decorated with traditional motifs from a time and place you remember only vaguely. The people who built it called it the Well of Remembering, and it is said that whatever question is lowered into it will yield the treasure of knowledge. The Well of Remembering does not share new information, and that is its greatest power. Instead, it searches your subconscious mind for that which you already know but have not fully realized. The Well of Remembering allows you to ask it three questions each time you visit it. Searches your soul three times to find the answer. Any fewer than this, and you will ask the wrong questions. Any more than this, and you will not take the answers to heart. So, allow yourself to take one of the white stone tablets that rest on a little shelf nearby and write your first question on it, tracing the words into the stone with your finger. At every touch of your finger, words are etched into the rock, smooth and graceful, perhaps in a script that is different from your own. When you are ready, Place the stone tablet into the intricately decorated bucket of the well and begin to turn the handle to lower it into the water below. The chain clinks merrily against the stone as it disappears from your view. You keep turning the handle until you finally hear the bucket splash down into the water hundreds of feet below. Close your eyes and breathe, and when you are ready, begin turning the handle, carrying the now heavier bucket back up to the top of the well. Whatever you find in this bucket will have great personal significance to you even if you do not realize it right now. So when you are ready, allow yourself to reach into the bucket, knowing you are entirely safe, and lift out whatever has been placed there for you.
If you would like, you may place this object, if it fits, in your pocket so you remember it later and always. Take a moment, and when you are ready, take a second white stone tablet and write your question upon it. The first one is gone from the pail, transformed into the object in your pocket, and so you may place this second question into the bucket without worry or fear. Lower the bucket back into the well. Wait to hear the splash. And when you are ready, begin drawing the pail back upwards. When it reaches the top of the well, taking a deep breath before reaching in to find the second answer. What has the well of remembering given you now? And now, place this object in your pocket and take the last stone tablet. Write your question upon it, feeling your finger moving across cool rock. Place it in the well's pail and lower it down for the last time. Hear the splash. Draw it back up and again pause before reaching in to retrieve the answer. This is the last gift to you of the well of remembering and as such it may have even more significance than the first two answers. With a deep cleansing breath Allow yourself to remove this gift from the well and examine it in the silvery moonlight of this spring night.
As you hold this gift in your hands, words and script begin to fill your vision as the well bids you a temporary farewell. You may return here at any time, but first you must take a little time to reflect on the answers it has given you. The words swirl faster and faster, lifting you upwards and when they finally recede, you find yourself back in the library. You place the book you are holding back on the shelf and feel your pockets only to find that the objects from the well are still there. Knowing this, you are free to leave the library, passing through the stacks of books, the empty chairs and tables, until you reach the stairs. As you begin your descent, your mind and spirit grow closer and closer to your physical body. Allow yourself to open the door at the bottom of the stairs. You are back in the room where you began this meditation, your physical body resting peacefully on the chair or bed where you left it only a little bit ago. So allow yourself a few moments to hold the objects from the well in your hands, memorizing their shapes and textures. When you are ready, return to your physical body, feeling your eyes open gently as your mind fills with the knowledge and wisdom the well has given you. This understanding, this deep knowingness will follow you through the rest of your day or evening, buoying you up when things get difficult. Hold it treasure it and know that more answers are waiting for you should you ever need to return to the well of remembering. <laughs>